Welcome back, everybody. My first guest tonight is a Hollywood icon who now stars in HBO's new show, Mosaic. Please welcome Sharon Stone. How are you? Thanks for being back. I'm just swell. Thanks for having me. I like your sparkly jacket. Thank you very much. Are those, what are those, bees? They are bees, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, we should save the bees. <laughs> I'll talk about colony collapse disorder right now if you want. <laughs> we can do it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that sounds good. I wish more guests did that. <laughs> It's, you haven't, it's been a while since you've been here. But last time you were here, we had a different president. Uh, I had different Could eyeglasses. Could we go back to that time? Um, I wish. I, I wish really like that president. I think the way back is forward, myself. <laughs> but um, you also have gone through something extraordinary since the last time I saw you. I found out recently, you went to college when you were 15 because you're a smarty pants. Well, I wasn't that smart because I quit. <laughs> but, but since the last time you were here, you graduated from college. Congratulations. I did. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Was it something... Did you, did you always have in the back of your mind, I'm going to go do this? No, you know, when uh, Hillary was running, she said some things about you can be everything yeah. that you want to be, and I thought, you know, I could do this. And so I called my university, and I spoke to them about it, and they arranged a way for me to complete my courses online and also with them. And I decided to finish. I only had three credits left to do. Oh, that's great. And I finished wow. my degree. What, 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 what was your... Uh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. What, what is your degree in, may I ask? Humanities. Humanities. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm a human. I'm in favor of that. Yeah. You were, uh, you were actually at the, the recent Gold Globes here, here with oh. your son, right there. Yeah. Very happy young man to be there with his beautiful mother. Um, now, this year, of course, uh, the story uh, in the entire nation, then part of the national conversation, but especially in Hollywood, is about the Me Too movement and Time's Up, and I have to imagine that you worked extremely hard to, to fight some of the injustices and, and some of the barriers that were put up against women in Hollywood. Um, did, what were some of the hardest battles you fought and how did you win them? Well, I think that as my career went on, um, we fought, my manager, Chuck, at the time, we fought to get paid. Sure. Which was a big battle, you know. I had to th decide if I was willing not to work. Uh, to get paid, and we fought, and ultimately, um, the producer I was going to work with next, Mike Metavoy, and I had this really amazing conversation, and he said, I'm not going to pay you for that movie, and I said, then find me another movie you will pay me for, and we, start, and we started laughing, and he's like, you know, Stone, you drive a hard bargain, and he paid me, and he and I have become the best of friends over the years, and, and he was really, really fair with me, and he was a great guy, and he helped me break that barrier. And I understand that one of the, um, one of the things that you try to do over the years is try to get people to say, no, don't cast me in that part that you imagined for a man. Yeah, sometimes I'll read a script and there's just no women in it. And I'm like, you know, this is a pretty man-heavy movie and I see a part or two in there that I think that I could play. Will you call the producers and see if someone will see me for this part or that part? Was there a particular part you remember, like, that you, that you got flipped from male to female? Like, Basic Instinct, was that supposed to be a really <laughs> Let's talk about your new show on HBO, okay, which is, it's called Mosaic. Yeah. And it's not only a show on HBO, but it's also a app that yeah, you can get. How can it be both a show and an app? Well, it's really exciting, because, well, Steven Soderbergh is, I mean, without being one of those people who says that everyone's a genius, he actually is a sure. genius, and yeah. he's so innovative and so exciting. And he had this idea with the writer Ed Solomon, who wrote films like Men in Black and Ted, and these kind of really wonderful things. They had this idea to make a show that could be an app that you buy on your iPhone. And the, the first one, they're all 23-minute segments. The first one is like the pilot. And the second one, if you think of it like the way you see a family tree, it branches down, and you then you choose the narrative. 
And so it's a murder mystery. And if you look at it like you're the detective, the audience is the detective, you decide where you want to go to look for your result. And as you watch these branching narratives, you will, as the detective, resolve the murder. And I'm the murderer, the, de the dead person. I'm, you you're, know, the you're, you're, you're the, the murderer. You're the murderee. You're the murderee. And so, in, you know, that's not really giving away anything. And it's really, it's fascinating. It's just fascinating. Are there different fascinating. endings based upon the path you choose? Is it like a choose your own adventure? I don't really want to say. Okay, then um, don't. But not exact. And, mm. But on HBO, um, starting Monday the 22nd for five nights, there's a linear series. And that's a little bit different. So you can see one and the other and not feel that you're, it's a redundant experience for you. We have a clip here. Uh, you're playing a character named Olivia Lake. Uh... And I think on the clip that you're going to see, Paul Rubens played my best friend and became my dear friend in the process of making this film. And on this, I've just discovered that the guy that I'm in love with has in, in some way betrayed me, and I just have had it. And I call him because he's gone on vacation for the holidays thinking that I'll be fine because I'm with finally the love of my life. And I realize that I'm... And so I call him. Jim. My choices in men, including and um, specifically you in this moment, I cannot believe that I let you go away this one New Year's Eve. I mean, you should know me well enough by now to know that I didn't mean it. <laughs> I lost my train. Uh, uh Men, yeah. <laughs> Men, yeah. <laughs> Profound. Men. Men. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We, we, we got to go here, but I want to ask you one more thing involving a man. I've got a little clip here that I hope you can explain to me. Uh -huh. I, uh, I don't know what year this is, but you were at a, a dinner, a, a charity event, uh, in which Vladimir Putin. <laughs> got up and did this. Can we see this? <laughs> okay. I found my field on Blueberry Hill on Blueberry Hill Okay. Yes, I was. You were there with I other stars with Kevin Costner was there, mm -hmm. uh, Goldie Hawn was there. What were you doing in a room with Vladimir Putin singing Blueberry Hill and have you been subpoenaed by Mueller yet? <laughs> You know, I go to some pretty cool places, just first of all. Uh -huh. But uh, Putin had invited us all to come to Russia, which I have to say is a very beautiful place it to is. go. It is. And um, so we went, and we went to raise money for a hospital for the Children's Oncology Ward mm -hmm. at, at Christmas time. And it was an extraordinary experience to go and see. All of these children were in the late stages of cancer, and we raised a lot of money and helped that hospital. And so to thank us, he gave this dinner party and sang Blueberry Hill. <laughs> and when he did, I was seated a little bit far back in the room, and when I saw this happening, I got up, walked to the front, took a chair from the front of the table, and pulled it right up to the stage, because I thought, I want to be in the front row to see this. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're all in the front row now. We are. Well, Sharon, it was lovely to see you again. Thank nice you for being here. Mosaic premieres January 22nd on HBO, or watch it now on the Mosaic app. Sharon Stone, everybody. And we'll be right back with Rob Riggle. Wow, what a cliffhanger. What's going to happen in the next Late Show video? Click subscribe to find out.